10,000 subscribers. 10,000 subscribers. It's not even a big number, but <laughs> I'm so excited about this. I've been posting for a year and a half now, and 10,000 is not bad, but I'm just, I'm just happy. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for subscribing. And uh, PewDiePie, watch out. I'm coming. Yeah, I cut my hair. Yeah, I look 12. Okay, so after 10,000 subscribers, my life changed. Now I became famous and uh, yeah, I asked you guys to ask me some questions about my famous, lovely life. They're all about my work. <laughs> I'm gonna try to answer most of them, hopefully. Hopefully all of them, but I don't think so. Let's start. Do you cook? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm a professional cook. I know how to, how to make sandwiches. Noodles, that's basically it. I am ter I'm a terrible cook. I actually made a video about how to cut onions without making you tear and cry. It went terribly wrong because I'm a terrible cook. That was a great episode, you can watch it, it's in the description. Do penguins sleep standing? Where's the other ones? Oh yeah, what inspired you to have a YouTube channel? Good question. Now, uh, I, I always liked making YouTube videos when I was young with my cousins and my friends and stuff like that. Did I say YouTube videos? Just videos in general. When I graduated, I, had, I wanted to be a paramedic since I was in high school. Paramedicine was like my goal when I was in grade, I don't know, 10, something like that. So uh, when I graduated, I applied for paramedicine, but at the same time I was like, should I get into film school or... But then I decided to study paramedicine because it was... It was kind of my dream job back then, and I really thought that paramedicine suits me, so I was like, I'll become a paramedic, and then I'll try to figure out filming or making, how to make videos in the future. And then I met, um, what's his name, Casey Neistat. I found his, one of his videos and I checked his channel out. He made it seem so easy to make YouTube videos. Before watching Casey, I used to think, okay, if, if you want to make a YouTube channel, you gotta have a production team. You gotta have a writer, a filmmaker, you gotta have like a group of people. But Casey made it seem so easy. I met him by the way. Just meeting him gave me motivation into starting making videos. And uh, yeah, now I'm here with 10,000 subscribers. Why are you so handsome? I didn't know what I meant to be long. How comes that you started with Yet Are Awesome? How do you separate and manage your work and your social life? Do you find it hard? I don't really have a social <laughs> social life. Uh, all I do right now is work, YouTube, YouTube work. That's that's like my, my life right now. I don't really have a lot of friends. I do have a lot of friends, but I don't really hang out with, with my friends. Uh, it's not healthy, it's bad, it's terrible, but that's just, I don't know, I, I try to, go out with my friends and socialize every now and then, but it's... What's your nationality? People always ask me this question. Okay, so I'm half Palestinian. My dad is Palestinian and my mom is Canadian. So I'm half-half. I'm half Palestinian and half Canadian. Wait. Okay, so this is the world. Now, my mom is from Canada, Vancouver. My dad is from Palestine, Gaza. I was born and raised, my early childhood was in Canada. I left Canada when I was around, I don't know, nine, something like that. Both of my parents took me and my sister and migrated into Doha, Qatar. Where is Qatar? Yeah, this tiny little country, Qatar. And I spent most of my life in Qatar. Uh, yeah, this is the story of my life. It just feels boring filming inside, so I uh, just wanna go out. Prefer night shift or day shift? Uh, I, like, I like to mix, to be honest. If you want me to choose, I guess, night shifts. Does air taste better at 10K? Oh, 10K subscribers, right? <laughs> uh, uh, no, yeah, no. Yeah, it's just a number. When did you graduate? 2017? November, I guess? November 2017. Is your real name Bandage? Yes. What is the scariest? Of course not. What is the scariest thing you've experienced while on the job? 
the scariest. Scariest. Yeah, once we had a call where I, I don't know what was the call initially, but it was it wasn't a fight, it wasn't an assault, it was just a regular thing. So we went in and we saw like a big group of people fighting, like I don't know, 15 or 20. Like there was a big fight going on, like war. And we entered the scene and we were like, okay, <laughs> goodbye. Uh, yeah, we called the police and we waited outside in a safe spot for like five minutes, ten minutes, I don't know. Until the police came and they figured everything out. Mm, do you love animals? Yeah. I love animals, but I don't like raising animals. It's just too much work. Why do you want to become a paramedic? Why do you want to become? I am a paramedic. Did you, I guess. Uh, it's a cheesy answer, but I honestly just like helping people. Um, that's my honest answer. I just like helping people. Now, why paramedicine? It's because because of the adrenaline. Adrenaline? 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 Adrenaline, yeah. Because of the adrenaline. Even, even now, like I, I kind of got used to it. Got used to like helping people and all, and all that. It still makes me happy and it still makes me feel proud that I chose this profession. You're an amazing paramedic. Thank you. Uh, give me some tips so I can be amazing too. Oh, thank you. Um, that's a very good question. I'll probably make a video about that. Like if you want an answer right now, please DM me. But in general, I'm gonna make a video about that because it's a broad question and I I need to answer it in a good manner. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck would a woodchuck chuck? Yes, before, no problem. But if you have camera like this, it's problem. Okay, so apparently I can use this camera for recording my video, but I can't use a tripod for some reason. Okay, it doesn't really make any sense, but how do you manage to make YouTube videos and do your job? It's hard. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. So the, the way I work is that I have two days, two day shifts and then two night shifts and then four days off. And each day I work for 12 hours. So in my four days off, obviously we don't really get four days off because the first day is you sleeping from the night shift. So it's like three days. And then in the three days, they try to call you because you need more staff. Ah, so every time I see someone jogging, I just feel like I want to throw whatever I'm doing and I just want to jog with him. Okay, so uh, yeah, so what I do is that on my shifts, when I don't have any calls, I just uh, prepare have my scripts and my ideas and all that. And then on my days off, I'll, I shoot. That's, uh, that's it, I guess I'm done. Wait, I guess I have more, maybe I have more questions. Can you lick your elbow? Nah, I, nah. <laughs> when are you gonna start an Arabic YouTube channel? Uh, I don't mind, I would love to but it's i can barely keep up making these videos doing an arabic channel from scratch alone not now maybe maybe in the future but it's pretty hot out here i'm done that's all i have for now see you every second wednesday i hope you have an amazing day and uh if you have any more questions hit me up on bandagemedic.com uh at bandagemedic on instagram uh i guess that's it see ya peace